Hi, in this video, I am going to explain how to deal with the Newton Damson method. Actually, it is one of the very powerful method and have a high rate of convergence. That is, it converges very fastly to the root. Assume we need to find the root of the equation f of x is equal to 0. Consider the graph of the function f of x. This is the graph of the function. Uh, we are taking initial guess uh, x0. This is our initial guess and uh, this point is the x0 comma f of x0 f of x0 is the value of function at point x0 uh, we are drawing the tangent at this point uh, to improve the, our accuracy of the root uh, if we draw the tangent at this point then this tangent will cut uh, the x-axis at this point this point is uh, x1 comma 0 uh, again uh, we are drawing the tangent this at this point uh, this point is uh, x1 f of x1 and then we get the next approximation to the root at this point this point will be the x2 uh, we similarly do the tangents uh, draw the tangents up to the we get the desired root our aim is to find the formula for the newton raphson method uh, consider the equation of the tangent at point x is equal to xn to the function y is equal to f of x the formula is y is equal to f dash of xn into x minus xn plus f of xn for the next approximation y is equal to 0 and x is equal to xn plus 1 uh, see the graph uh, this is our uh, initial guess and uh, if we are drawing the tangent at this point x0 f of x0 then uh, uh, this will cut at this point uh, for this value of uh, next approximation is x1 and value of y is 0 Therefore, we are taking y is equal to 0 and x is equal to xn plus 1. Substituting this value in this equation only uh, and rearranging the term, we get uh, xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. This is the newton raphson formula. If we take n is equal to 0, then we get x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon f dash of x0. f dash of x0 denotes the derivative of the function at point x0. Uh, if we put n is equal to 1 then we get x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1 and so on we can also find the newton damson formula by the taylor series method let x0 be our initial guess and x1 is equal to x0 plus h be the exact root here h is the very small value it may be positive or negative depending upon the initial guess uh, if we are assuming that this is the exact root, then the value of function at this point is 0. We are expanding the Taylor series at this point. Therefore, f of x1 is equal to f of x0 plus h, uh, which is equal to f of x0 plus h into f dash of x0 plus h square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of x0 plus dash dash, dash is equal to 0. As uh, value of h is very small, then uh, h square upon 2 factorial, h cube upon 3 factorial, all the terms after h square are very small. We are neglecting this term. Uh, then uh, we get f of uh, x0 plus h into f dash of x0 is equal to 0. Rearranging the term, uh, we are finding the value of h which is equal to minus of f of x0 upon f dash of x0. We are just substituting this value in this equation. Then we get x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon f dash of x0. To get better approximation, similarly, we can find the next iterations also. Similarly, x2, x3 um, and so on. Uh, in general, we can say that xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. This formula and this formula both are the same uh, but only methods are different let us start uh, advantages and disadvantages of the newton raphson method uh, i have stated uh, at first that uh, it has a very high rate of convergence that is it converges to root very fastly the error decreases in each step very rapidly but this method also have some disadvantages for the bad choice of the initial gaze the method is failed to converges see the graph of the function first uh, if uh, our choice uh, of the guess uh, on this side then we are unable to draw the tangent and uh, uh, for this uh, type of the guess uh, we are not able to get our uh, required root similarly in each uh, iteration uh, this method required a two function evaluation that is uh, f of x and f dash of x third disadvantages is it may encounter to the zero derivative it may possible that the uh, function have a zero derivative 
and it may loop infinitely without finding the root. These are the some advantages and disadvantages of the Newton Ramson method. In next uh, video related to Newton Ramson method, I will uh, tell you how to solve the problem on the Newton Ramson method. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and share it. For more such videos, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash livemathematica. If you have any doubt, write in comment box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible. Or you can like a Facebook page Live Mathematica. Post your doubt on page. I will try to solve in it in a couple of days. Thank you.